Hey there, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's probably gonna be a little shorter. Um, we kind of have a, a, a kind of a, a weird task or a boring task, I don't really know, but um, we got vent, vent fans or vents or whatever put in our bathrooms. You can see one, I don't know, it's back there somewhere. Um, but now I gotta vent those out through the outside of the house. I probably should've done that before there was snow on the ground. It's a little chilly now, but we're gonna do, we gotta do what we gotta do. So um, these are the vents we gotta put on the outside of the house. Got these from Home Depot. I'm not super impressed by them, um, but I think they'll get the job done. I guess worst case, I'll just replace them in a year or whatever. So um, we're gonna put those on the side of the house. I got this big hoss. We're gonna try and drill a hole through the wall. The problem is the outside of my house is cement board, um, and this is just a wood bit. So I'm not sure if I wanna just use this and just wreck it and buy a new one, um, or I have a carbide um, sawzall bit too. Um, I might give that a try. We'll kind of see how it goes, um, kind of feel it out. So um, let's get this hole drilled. I have two of these I have to do like this, and then I have one soft one I have to do downstairs. So um, let's get a couple holes drilled, and then we'll go outside and we will uh, put the actual uh, fan vent and I don't know, whatever the heck you call these things on, um, and then we'll run the piping later. So let's go. All right, I am in the attic. Um, kind of, I guess it's kind of an attic. This is a little tiny space up here. In the attic here, we're gonna drill our first hole. Sorry for the weird angle. The camera's mounted on the ceiling joists, rafters, whatever. So uh, I hope you can see what's going on, but uh, let's give this a shot and see what happens. Well, I have no idea if you could see that my body was in the way or not, but I got through the wall. Um, I decided just to go for it with this uh, hole, hole saw, whatever. Went pretty good, so um, let's go to the next one. All right, there we go. Time for hole number two in this wall, right behind my head. And the joys of part cordless tools. My battery is overheated. Time to get a new battery. And there we go, one new hole. I definitely wrecked my hole saw, but job's done and I'll just buy another $20 hole saw, whatever it is, no big deal. Okay, gonna grab those two uh, hood things. I don't even know what those things are called, vent caps, who knows. Gonna grab those guys, gonna go outside, get my ladder, we'll get set up. So, um, well, I'll see you outside. All right, there we go. Let's kind of slide this little guy in that hole. Beautiful. We will put a screw in it, kind of eyeball level it up. I probably should have pre-drilled these holes. That would have been a lot easier, but I don't really want to go down and get a drill bit at this point. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna tough it out. And my drill's dead. I guess I'm gonna get a drill bit after this. Oh, I guess not. My drill bit's just kind of on, my drill's just kind of on the fritz. All right, I'm gonna go get a drill bit. This is ridiculous. Man, the right tool makes the job so much easier. One more to go. All right, so I didn't ever want to put this camera this time, so I figured I'd just grab it and carry it up here. So I uh, just gotta get my, just gonna get my drill bit in the uh, drill and I'll pre-drill some holes. Just gonna do one for now, put a screw in that and then I'll do the rest of them so I make sure it doesn't move around on me. All right, and there we go. Um, I will want to caulk around here, caulk around the top edge and around the sides too as well. 
uh, just to make sure no water runs in there. But I will do that when I caulk the rest of this rest of this cement board right here. So, um, yeah, we got a lot of caulking to do. All those joints, all those steams around the window. So I will do that all at the same time. So um, that is it for out here on these guys. Uh, I think we're gonna hop up on the roof over there. Um, there's a vent pipe that comes out of the roof for. Uh, the bathrooms and stuff on that end of the house. I never actually drilled the hole through the roof I just put the boot in so uh, we're gonna go drill that hole through the roof right now uh, while the weather is halfway decent out here And then we'll hook up everything in the inside Wow, you sure can tell we don't have any uh, Insulation in the house right now. Look at these ice dams. We've only had snow for like a week and Look at that already. That's probably I don't know a good three inches thick already. So Yeah, insulation is coming next week. So that'll be good. We'll get rid of these guys. Um, my uh, vent pipe has got to go right there i was just thinking i really hope that doesn't line up with the joist downstairs i didn't actually lay that out i don't think when i put that boot in so let's see what happens okay so i got this big old long drill bit here uh basically just gonna run it down right into the middle of where this boot's sticking out i don't know if you can see that here get some snow out of your way there's the boot um we gotta run it right down in the middle of there and then i'm gonna go from the inside and drill it with a uh, hole saw so let's just hope we don't hit anything underneath there we didn't hit anything on the pilot hole, so that's good news. Let's go uh, drill it from the inside. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see it on the uh, shot or not, but that hole right there is where we gotta go through. Right in the middle of the joist bay. Couldn't have asked for it to be any better even if I planned it out. So, uh, good news there, and good news that I didn't fall off the roof. So, win-win. Let's get the uh, ladder set up and we will drill that hole. All right, so this will be a three inch uh, PVC Schedule 40 vent. Uh, and it's just for like one half bath in a laundry room, so nothing too major. Uh, so uh, the outside diameter of three inch PVC is three and a half inches. So I got a four and a quarter inch hole saw here. Should make short work of this uh, plywood up here and we should have no problems running our pipe through it. So let's drill a hole. So I'm just getting this started here, thinking to myself, this is really close to my face. So I'm gonna do my best to not smash myself in the face with this when it gets caught in this wood and whips around. So let's see how good we can do. Perfect, right in the middle of our boot up there. So now really all I have to do is jam a three inch PVC up in there and then we can tie it into the vents in the rest of this room when I put those in. So let me go grab a pipe. And uh, I don't know, what do you think that is? Foot and a half, two foot. I'll grab a little pipe, jam it in there so that, uh, and maybe put, even put a cap on it so that it doesn't rain or snow into my house would be ideal. So I'll be right back with a piece of PVC. Okay, got my pipe cut, two foot. Uh, I couldn't find a cap, so we got a clean out and we got a uh, coupler here. So that should work just temporary until I can actually run up the uh, vents for up here. So no big deal. There we go, that's it. One vent installed through the roof. Let's go uh, finish up our, what were we working on? We are working on the bathroom vents. Let's go finish up and run some pipe for those guys. All right, we are upstairs now. We're gonna run the pipe for the longest one first, uh, which is the one upstairs. Then we'll run the second one we did, and then we'll mess up the third one because that's nice and short. So um, we kind of got lucky. The way we're going to do our insulation is we're actually doing spray foam on the bottom of the roof deck. So all of the space this is gonna be running through is conditioned space, which makes it nice and cheap for me because I don't need anything fancy. This is literally just some flexible tube, um, foil tube, nothing special. Um, it doesn't need to be insulated or anything because it's not going to be in an unconditioned space where you have to worry about condensation, condensation or anything. So um, we're just going to run this tubing nice and flexible. I'll uh, put some uh, pipe clamps or hose clamps or whatever on the ends. We'll be good to go. So let's uh, wrap this up. All right, one down, let's go do the other one. All 
Okay, so I held off all week to do this. I knew today was gonna be a nice warm day. But the problem with that is it's kind of a catch-22. Now it's dripping and that's all gonna drip down my neck. So I guess that's what I got to deal with. So I'm gonna try and make this short and sweet and uh, hopefully it doesn't take me too long to drill this hole. All right, no big deal. I didn't even get too wet. Awesome, let's go hook up on the inside. And there we go, that is it for today. I got uh, three uh, fans, bathroom vans vented outside. I got the outside vent put in. Um, just a quick note about this one. I vented it through the soffit. Typically, you wouldn't want to do that for a full bathroom uh, because of the way that um, the air works for your attic, um, your ridge vent or your roof vents uh, want to draw in cold, dry air from down here out of the soffits in the winter. Um, and that helps keep your whole attic nice and dry, cool, so there's no room for um, mold and whatnot to grow. Um, so exhausting warm, wet air out of a bathroom from like a shower or something, not ideal if it goes right out the soffit because it just comes right back in your attic uh, if it's drawn properly. So um, typically don't want to do that for a typical bathroom, but because this one is a half bath, there's not going to be any wet air. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of warm air, um, but we should be okay with that. So um, it's going to be a pretty small, small model air that's vented out of here. So we should be good. So um, if you have any other questions, for sure, let us know down below. Um, I do ask that you please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Subscribe button right below the video. Uh, definitely helps, definitely appreciate it. Leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't, give us a thumbs down, but hopefully that's not the case. So uh, uh, without further ado, I guess we'll see you in the next video.